What's happening, folks? And welcome to another episode of Glory in Paradise with Monaco. Today, we are on the page of Katie Bardi, but before we go any further, if you're enjoying this series, hit the like button down below, help support the channel and this brand new series on the channel. And if you're new, subscribe as well. We've also got an announcement, um, which I'm not sure I've made yet. I'm going to wait and see when I'm going to announce it, but actually, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to release it. I'm going to announce it today anyway, my time. There's now a second channel for non-FM gaming content. So, for example, we've got the Jedi Fallen Order Journey Plus series on there. And also we've got um, Last of Us, which I think is about to come out when this video goes live. Um, so, yeah, we're doing that. Last of Us, Last of Us Part 2, I'm going to be doing on that, on that channel. So, hopefully you guys can pop along there and get involved. I'm going to try and put the second channel link in the description um, on this video, if not on all of them going forward. So... Today we're on the Bridget Kittibaldi, who is, I think, so far this is our best player, but also most frustrating, and I'll get to that in a second um, when we get to some of the games off camera. But yeah, he's fantastic, but he's frustrating the hell out of me because he is so good in some games and garbage in others. And he can play up front as well, which is not, which is not where I'm going to play him. But yeah, but yeah, um, we've got some news though, which is good, but also pretty pointless. So I accidentally said it twice. On here because I didn't want to reveal anything that's in the league or anything like that. The board have announced we've got a raise of current budget of forty-seven point five million pounds. This is pointless because I can't spend it because of the FFP rules. Which is great, um, but yeah, I mean it's just an issue with FFP. But we've got some players we can sell in the summer, so it's just frustrating that the money's there to spend on a lot of players, but the FFP is not allowing me to do that, um, which is. I knew going into it would be a problem. The ideal scenario would be somebody comes in for a massive offer of like 80, 90 million pounds for somebody that we eventually have to sell. And then maybe then we can, you know, manoeuvre. But it's going to be awkward getting players in the team. But anyway, that's the news on transfers. More money, but can't really spend it. First game of Cameron, we lost 1 0 to Lille. Um, we deserved at least a draw this game. This is the game in Bar that really frustrated me. Uh, just so many good opportunities and just wouldn't take them. Slamani was ineffective um, in this game. Unfortunately, Brendan was injured, so I couldn't play him. Uh, he got the bench, even though he had a slight knock, uh, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, frustrating result against Leo, but you know what? Losing to one, we lost one of the games so far to this point with Leo, other than Leo and PSG. It's not that bad, is it? Bounce back against Strasbourg, 1 0. Bowser got the goal in this game. We should have got more goals in this game again. We had so much domination, so many shots on goal. Just the conversion was really low. I'm putting this down to the fact we lost the game and the morale got took a hit. Uh, but it's good to get back, bounce back with a clean sheet and a win. Uh, not the most amazing performance, but it's a win and it's a good, it keeps a good start. Well, it's a relatively good start going. This game was a weird one. Um, we won 6 2, but I don't know how we did this because. For the 90% of the game, it was just edgy. And all of a sudden, we're on an insane run from like the 56th minute. And we just went for like 10 minutes or so, just scoring goals. I don't know. It was it was weird. Suddenly, it all, it all just clicked. And um, yeah, Fabregas was brilliant in this game. Got him out of the match, 9.3. But yeah, it came out of nowhere in the game. I, I, we went ahead in the like 33rd minute for an, for an own goal. But... We were in control of the game, but suddenly everyone just started to find their finishing boots, which is fantastic. But nice to get six goals <laughs> to get the goal to help the goal difference. But yeah, it was a bit of a weird match. I made a few changes in this game against um, Borg. I'm going to call him Borg because this is you know, Star Trek. Why not? Um, and didn't really work out like I wanted it to. Um, but I brought on um, Bakayoko and Gelson Martins the second half to try and get a bit more quality. We got the win, but the fluctuations in the goals is weird. One minute like we're going to score three and look comfortable, the next minute we struggle to score in it. It's a bit weird, but I do, I do feel like some of the players we've signed are going to take a while to get going, and I just feel like we need a bit more depth and quality. That's when the second season, um, assuming we stay on the job, obviously, um, will be interesting to see what FFP says about what the scope we have. If we get, if we get, if we get Champions League football, that will help. I'm not Saying anywhere else, but like six million pounds on the player, I'd love to. But just to get a bit more quality in depth would be fantastic. So, yeah, hopefully, this kind of thing will happen in the future. So, league table with seven points clear of four, which is a fantastic start season. Not a single draw, 
I've noticed quite a lot of my saves over the last couple of years in FM. Um, have these periods where we just don't draw, we just don't draw games. PSG walk in the league as usual. They will do for a while. Um, if we can get this one trophy in this series, I'd be happy. If I'm honest with you. Um, so yeah, today we're going to do just the Nice game simply because the Angers game is quite low down, and I'm just not really psyched to record that one. Uh, I feel like you want to see more from the Nice game. Uh, rather than showing the 16th and 16th place. So, in terms of fixtures going forward, for example, next episode, where to lose in the table? Um, God, where to lose in the table? Uh, the mid table. So, next game, next game, because it's Leon is right there, it makes sense to me from a content. Again, you guys can give feedback on this that to show the big game and show more of that than show less of a big game and another game. You know what I mean? So, like, if it's like, if it's like, up here, we had like Rem and Rene, and there's no big teams around other than Lille, Lille was there at the time. You know what I mean? So then show those two. But if it's like a big game like that on its own, show more of that one than show a team that's sitting in the table, which more than likely we're going to dominate and win. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not. Let me know in the comment section. So let's go, boys, and let's see how we get on today. We're at home, I believe we are. I'm looking at the finish of players. Bignet is not fully fit, but he has to start because. Slimani wasn't hasn't been great um, since that last episode, but this team's very good. The areas I want to strengthen in are specifically I want a, a CM to replace Fabregas long term, and um, maybe a striker. But I don't necessarily. Don't necessarily I think a cam is more needed really in this team um, than a striker. So we'll see. Again, when the, when the old players come back in the summer and I've got all the loans expired. I can take a look at them and see who I want to bring for the first team, who I want to loan out and that kind of thing. Right now, I'm just trying to get the base of the team set up and then we'll go from there. They're playing a DM formation, which is super fun. Um, assertive. Expect to win. These are the kind of games if we can nip these in the bud and get these three points secured that will really help our top four, top four, or top three, sorry, top three um, ambitions. And Benyeda, need to get my good team consistently and see how he does. But yeah, these guys at home, let's see how this plays out. Hopefully, three points, but all can happen in these games. Becker's got the ball here. And he's throwing goals back at Yoko with a chance. I mean, those are the kind of views that we're missing on a regular, not regular basis, a semi-regular basis. And we can start converting more of those. We'll do all right. But I'm enjoying the save. Just need to get a bit more quality in the team. Balde on the ball. He's, he's very lively, but he, you, don't, you, don't know what, you know what he's going to do. Beats one man. Beats because inside chance that's basically Balde one on one. Giving me being there oh, again. This is what it's been like for most of the season, uh, dominating most teams and just not looking like we're going to be because it's in front of goal. Henrik's Gelson and it's in. I wasn't sure because I've been trolled by them before. Kate Balde makes it one nil on the balance of play in the first few minutes. It's been fully deserved. But again, this is the again this is the thing about the game this year. The fullbacks being unmarked. Helps us, in, helps us in this occasion. Pretty full of stadium, to be fair. Um, Gelson Martins, good ball in. Barley heads it in. Keeper. Ooh, wow. Yeah, that's a keeper error. If I've, I mean, you can't, always you can't always say that with a 3D replay, but that looks like an error to me. 1 0 against Nice. Again, we're going to see the old uh, uh, go on technology thing here. Which is going to skip because he can't, he's not even showing it properly. 1 0 against Nice. Good start. The key thing is second goals um, for us. We. we we do we usually score a goal of the game, but it's getting that second one before they equalise or if they equalise. Back of Yoko. Now Gelson Martins. Takes it down the outside. Can he find a ball in the box? He can to Balde and score two. This is what I'm talking about. He's the most frustrating player on the planet. He can play it's is unplayable. And he goes quiet for a couple of games. 2 0. Gelson Martins gets the ball. Look at this. This is exactly what I want him to do. Just take him down the outside. Use that pace that you've got. He finds a cross. And Balde gets a run him. And keeper this time. Not so much never this time. Just well placed. 2-0 against Nice. Let's go, boys. Good stuff, Balde. On a first half hat trick. Now, the thing is, I don't want him getting complacent. I want a third now. <laughs> Just to make sure that we don't get complacent in the game. But I'm really enjoying this team. It's Ajax and Monaco are two saves that I've always had my eye on doing. Long term, and I love. Oh, that's an interesting ball. Goes and picks it up though. Finds Balde in the punch here for a first half hat trick, and he's got a first half hat trick, folks. Balde, the goal machine. 
That may be the title of the episode, actually. Um, 3 0 in the first half an hour. Again, that's a a bug that I had there from them, maybe. That they benefited from. Fullback not marking him properly. Great touch. And just get so close and just power drives it in for 3 0. The only thing we got to be. The only thing that can stop, stop, stop us winning this game now is a bit of complacency. But I'm going to be on them to make sure it doesn't happen. The company is in there. Bart wide to Henrix. Sure not four. Rodham Gelson Martins gets it back to Balde. And they're going to get his clear there. Are we going to pressurize and get, get it back off them in this, in this area? Dolberg. He's doing well here. Don't cross it in though. And chance save for. Ooh, that's the first chance to develop on goal. Half time, six, shot, six shots on target, three goals. Barley's got all three of them, which is fantastic. Um, this is what I'm talking about. When he's on, when he's on form, he's on, he's, he, he's on, he's on fire. Uh, let's go with assertive. Um, don't let your points level drop. Yeah, I just. I would love to sit here and say to my team, you've been perfect, keep it going. But I just can't do it. I always like to make sure I'm safe. I praise my end of the game when the game's been won. I don't know if you guys do that as well, but that's what I do. Unas, I seem to remember that managing him in before. I tell. Skip past the ball there. Ball in the box and hat clear by Gilson Martins. Yeah, that's fine. So we just play beautifully. But again, it's, it's just ignoring it again. George, chance for Nice and almost got one. It's just, again, it's the fullback issues. The, the wingers don't seem, again, I keep mentioning it. Um, it's one thing I want to see different. One thing I look for next year in the beta is the wingers actually defending a bit more naturally when they for basket forward. Guys, deal with it. Just be able to definitely stuck off second half. Golovan, Henricks in the box was Baldi, cleared the Fabregas. George, where's space shoots? Oh, it's in for four. I mean. I said about fullbacks getting formed being a very good attacking wise, and that is prime example of fullbacks being unmarked. Um, look at this. I mean, we pause it here. This is the prime example of what I want to see. I mean, we would benefit from this. Benefit from this. So I like to just call out when I see it in our favour. He's marking. He's marked. He's marked. He's marking him. He's marking him. He's marking out here. But look. Unas has been marked, George has been marked by Unas, right? Technically, watch Unas here a lot. At no point does he realise that George is getting through and then the defender's got a problem there. All right, keep him in error again. But that's what I want I'm I want to see changed in the match engine next year is more defensive awareness from wingers when it's obvious the guy is going to attack them down that side. We benefit from this occasion, but it's still it's still an issue that I feel um I want I'm gonna make a list of things I'm gonna keep an eye on. Next for next year, uh, I want to. That's one thing I want to see. And they put inside here, good save. Four 0 though, can't complain. Um, brilliant performance. Figure for Fabregas. Papos cross. It was Gelson, Balde, Banyade, and it's five. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you want to, I mean, this is FM for you. Your team just suddenly clicks and scores lots of goals. Fabregas dinks it in really well, and Gelson Martin gets ahead on it. Back cross goal, off the post, and Ben Yadir, oh, he kind of shoots and then tackles it in the back of the net for 5 0. Um, yeah. Time for some changes, I think. Let's um, take off Balde for Angel Gomez. And let's get Pellegrini Pleg on as well. Just for some minutes to get him some time. We're firing up in this game. It makes no sense to keep them on, really. Now then, this could be opportunity to score it on if Fabregas goes for goal. Good, uh, good. Good hands, good save from the goalkeeper. Five goals from nine shots on target. That is very clinical. That is very, very good. Uh, just won't keep doing this. Well, this has been a fantastic performance and shows that we've got a good team here. Just you need to get consistently a bit better. I think the issue we're going to have is strength in depth. Um, is the issue. There we go, full time, 5 0. Brilliant result for us uh, and deserved as well. It wasn't like we're 5 0 and we were like just lucky. We generally played very well in that game and it was. Fun to watch them. The only thing I'm noticing in this team that is a slight worry for me is the lack of turnovers we get in midfield. That when they attack, we get the ball back and turn over on them. We do seem to be able to get the ball more closing down in the in the 
other areas of the pitch. But we seem to struggle to get the ball back when they're attacking us and then counter them. I mean, that's just the way things are going right now. Oh, that's a thing in the team we need to look at. But someone like Aparte, that kind of guy who can just win the ball back, you know, I mean, we have got um, Bakayoko who can play a ball in midfielder role. So it might be worth trying that. Um, just somebody who can just win the ball back, maybe try that a bit more. Because uh, I'm, not, I'm not noticing getting into attacking areas that much and being a threat. So we may try a box, a ball in midfielder and then see if that helps that situation out. In theory, it should, right? Um, so next episode, we're going to come back for the Leon game because they're going to be uh, relatively strong. And this team are there pretty weak. And then we'll probably, then we'll probably do PSG after that. Uh, after that. So yeah, uh, let's look at League O and see where we are. We're nine points clear now of fourth, if, I'm, if my, my maths is right, which is brilliant. But four points behind PSG, I mean, yeah, that's that's pretty damn good. Um, what did you get prize money-wise? Uh, and, and, and I've checked this before, but not got it confirmed. So you get £12 million for getting the top three. Uh, obviously, more if you finish second or first. But obviously, we want to probably want to finish second with the fact that it's a third, third is the best qualifying third round thing. I kind of want to avoid that if I can. I did want to finish first if we're talking about where we want to finish. So yeah, I'm back. I'll come back with you guys for the Leon game. Um, let me know, guys, any feedback on the series and that kind of thing. Any suggestions that I've talked about in this episode that you think would be cool to sort issues out, whatever. Mainly, it's about how to generate extra income. Any things you've done yourself on the on a, I'm not going to say about any things you've done in a similar sale. They think, yeah, if you do this, mate, that'll help you out. Or just like keep winning games and you get you, you get more followings, that kind of thing. Which we're doing quite well at the minute. Only twice, and one was PSG, which is a given, and Leo, we should have got a draw in. So overall, very positive. See you next time, guys. If you enjoyed the video, and I, if you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have, hit the like button down below. If you're new as well, hit the subscribe button as well. Check out the second channel as well with the non-football manager that's plays. Really hope you come across there and check that out as well. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.